Hi everyone, this is Mike Leiden here with the uh, International Academy of Consciousness. Um, I'm a volunteer and teacher at the New York office, and I'm here to introduce um, a speaker today, Ulisse de Corpo, uh, who's going to be speaking at the first International Congress of Conscientiology, which means consciousness science from a post-materialistic and multidimensional point of view. The Congress is going to be from May 22nd to 24th, um, of, of, actually it's upcoming next month, uh, in Evermonte, Portugal. So, um, Professor, do, do you go by, should I call you Ulisse? Do I call you Professor? What should I call you? Well, call me Ulisse. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, um, just to, to so uh, Ulisse's talk is going to be uh, Syntropy Consciousness and the Invisible. And you're, you're, um, yes. you're going to be speaking with uh, Antonella Vanini? Exactly, yes. Okay. And um, basically, uh, so, so your CV is that um, you've got a, basically a degree in psychology and in experimental psychology and a PhD in statistics and social research. Um, you've, you've worked in the field of social research and provided methodological support and software tools to various researchers. And in 1977, mm -hmm. you developed the vital needs theory. Um, yes. And um, since 1977, you've been working on the interaction of syntropy and entropy. Yes. So is, is your talk, Syntropy Consciousness and the Invisible, um, if, you were to, if you were to maybe synthesize um, you know, what, what, what will people walk away with, uh, or what can people hope to walk away with at the end of your talk? Well, uh, say the key element is the concept of syntropy, which stems from the uh, fundamental equations in physics, which always have a dual uh, solution, a forward-in-time solution and a backward-in-time solution. Well, the um, uh, backward-in-time solution was uh, rejected in the 1920s since, since it uh, implies that you can have effects before causes, whereas in physics the one of the basic assumptions is that causes must always precede their effects. Uh, so half of the solutions of the fundamental equations were just rejected as uh, since they were considered to be impossible. But in 1941, uh, Luigi Fantapie, um, an Italian mathematician who was one of the foremost mathematicians of the last century, uh, he said, well, I'm a mathematician, I'm not a physicist. I want to see what these uh, dual solutions imply. And he found out that the, the properties of the forward-in-time solution uh, are governed by the law of entropy. That means that you have um, uh, energy which is available and then it just dissipates and uh, uh, you have the destruction of structures and uh, the tendency towards disorder. Whereas the backward in time solution has uh, symmetrical properties. There is an increase in uh, differentiation uh, or in complexity organization structures, which are exactly the properties of life. And uh, Fantapie, he formulated a theory in 1941, uh, named the unitary theory of the physical and biological world, where he states that the physical world, the visible part of reality, is governed by the forward in time uh, solutions of the equations, whereas life is governed by the backward in time uh, solutions of the equations, and also consciousness would be governed by these uh, backward in time uh, solutions. And that means that life is not caused by the past, but it's caused by the future. And uh, the implications are just huge because it means that we are constantly in between a visible part of reality and an invisible part of reality, which is extremely important from life because it's where we get our life energy from this invisible part. And uh, whereas the visible part is, um, we can perceive it and we rationally analyze this information, the backward-in-time information, the part 
which is linked uh, in a way with consciousness would be uh, associated to the autonomic nervous system and to, um, uh, uh, for example, heart rate reactions and uh, autonomic responses. And Antonella Vanini, what she did in her PhD, uh, she said, well, if Fantapia is correct, we should see retrocausal uh, reactions in the parameters of the autonomic nervous system, and that is the heart rate and the skin conductance. And in doing experiments uh, where people were shown emotional and non-emotionally stimuli, what uh, um, comes out in a very clear uh, and strong way is that the autonomic parameters react in advance before the stimuli is activated. Um, and so from an experimental point of view, it's possible to, in a way, support this theory of Fantapie, which states that we are in between a forward in time flow of information and in backward in time flow of information. The backward in time flow of information would be uh, mainly uh, experienced uh, in the form of emotions. And, uh, and we constantly have to choose if we want to follow what our head tells us or what our heart is telling us. And um, I, I think that what people would get from this talk is this balance between these two diff different aspects of the reality in which we are living. I see. Oh, it sounds very interesting. Um, what, what comes to mind, so I just want to see if I, I can understand this in a, in a simple way and maybe the audience can yes. too. Is it like um, the, the, the future having an effect on us? Is that like when you have um, kind of ideals or goals for yourself and those only exist in the future and those motivate you and uh, cause you to do certain things? Well, uh, um, the, um, in a way, yes, in a way, no. What, what we uh, experience is that uh, when, uh, when we have ide ideas about the future, uh, some come with emotions and some come with, with no emotions correlated to it. Well, um, the emotions tell us if it is real or it is not real, because the information that we get from the future is a emotional information. Uh, it's not so much linked to, um, say, a clear information and detailed information. Uh, and that is the difficult part, because we can feel the future, but we cannot have a certainty about what we are feeling. Uh, so in a way, we must learn how to trust these inner feelings. And, uh, uh, the, um, you know, the difficulty is that we get this kind of intuitions about where, where we should go, but usually we try to trust more what our head tells us. And if we only follow our head, then entropy uh, increases. If we learn to follow our intuitions and our heart, then entropy diminishes and syntropy, which is life energy, increases. Okay, got it. Okay, all right, now yes. I get it. Now I see. Okay. Uh, yes. So, so basically you're saying that um, the what you're calling the causality of the future is this sort of, let's say, I ideal path for ourselves that we can kind of sense intuitively and emotionally. Yes. I see. Um, it's like if uh, each one of us has a compass inside uh, ourselves, and when we have um, emotions which are, uh, say, uh, not just positive emotions, but syntropy, we, we can feel it has warmth and heat in the thorax area. When we feel that kind of sensations, then we are on the right track. 
when on the contrary we feel emptiness and void in our thorax area, we are on the wrong uh, track. And we must learn to uh, be guided by this compass that we have inside ourselves. The, th the thorax area, that is really interesting. And I, I wish we had more time to talk about this, but I guess if people... Is this something you're going to talk about more in your lecture? Yes, we, uh, we will talk about this. Okay. No, because now I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued as to what the significance of that area of the, the, the body is in terms of, um, you know, in terms of sensing uh, centropy. So, yes. uh, but we are, unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, yes. If you, so for, for the viewers out there, if you'd like to uh, get more information on this, um, you know, you can sign up for the Congress or uh, you can send Professor DeCorpo an email. I, I'll, I'll put a link to your website on there, too. Uh, okay. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I will see you there at the Congress. Yes, it has been a pleasure. Okay, mine as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.